Oh, what a nice turnout. Good evening. Welcome to the 23rd Stoughton Academy Commencement Program, June 12th, 2018. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, I think you can sit down now. It's always a very exciting time for us at the Academy and at Stoughton Public Schools. Welcome, graduates. You made it. Their families. Their families, friends, grandparents, parents, children, and well wishes. Welcome, Superintendent of Schools Maggie Rizzi, former Super Superintendent of Schools Tony Elsano Jr., uh, our people from the school committee, uh, Sari Gropi, uh, Anita Hill, and Katie Pita. Oh, I screwed it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Anokia. Sorry. Uh, and of course, our assistant superintendent of schools, Mr. Jonathan Ford. Uh, and I have to tell you that if it wasn't for these people, this program uh, just would not exist. And we are so thankful for their support, their encouragement, and their guidance. And that's what's allowed this program to flourish. I would like to take a, a moment, which I normally do uh, during the graduation, for Anthony Alsano, Jr., who had the vision 23 years ago uh, for the need for this program. And uh, it has really worked out. It was his design and his uh, facilitation that allowed this program to go forward. This vision has established Stoughton Academy. In those years, we have graduated over 700 students from this program. Huge, huge, and I will talk. To, I will talk to that in a moment because um, I do run into some of these, uh, some of the former graduates every once in a while. And as a result of that, I'm very proud to be part of Stoughton Academy and part of the Stoughton Public School family. Truly, truly. I also would like to take uh, and thank my very diligent staff, hardworking and uh, selfless, Lynn Bader, our new uh, den mother who takes care of everything. <laughs> Michelle Bernard, Luke Burgoyne, Diane Dolan, Sheila Fields, Stacy LaValle, uh, Wayne Madden, Tom Colomaria, and uh, Stephen Thomasy, who after 23 years is going to be retiring up from us and from teaching this year. I want to especially thank Mr. Thomasy for his years <laughs> of wonderful, wonderful uh, government teacher. I can't say enough positive things. What a great job he's done, and we, he will indeed be missed. Uh, I would like to take a moment of silence for um, the four young men taken from their families and from um, the Stodent uh, school family. Um, it has been an overwhelming loss for us here at the high school and in the whole town. I'd like to take a moment of silence for them, please. Thank you. Well, at this, time, at this point, I'd like to take time to congratulate you and all your hard work. I'm someone who finished his college and graduate degrees attending evening programs while supporting a family. I truly appreciate your sacrifices while working, attending schools, and maintaining all of your family commitments as well. I'm sure that I do not have to remind you as what a special and exciting day this is for you and for your parents, and in some cases for your children. Uh, it's also exciting for us as, us as our staff, because your success is our success. Um, so we want to, to, we really want you to go out and make a mark on this world. Um, 
Just coming back to, to the academy, uh, you've learned one of life's most important lessons, that in this world, that if you don't succeed at first, you must still persevere. You must continue and persevere. I constantly run into students at, at the concert venues that I run in Boston, and I'm thrilled to hear of their very many success stories and how they have changed and improved their lives after the graduation. Lots have gone on to junior college, college training programs, nursing programs, healthcare, and the military. All become uh, contributing and uh, constructive members of uh, American society. Uh, one of the girls is now in her second year of practicing law. I uh, ran into several students uh, who have graduated from the nursing and LPN programs. One of our former uh, students, Anthony Costanza, is the foreman at the Wynn Casino, who's in charge of putting all of the glass in Wynn Casino, and that's quite a bit of that. Two of the kids have started their own electric company. Uh, several of the kids are working for uh, Fidelity in Boston as uh, uh, financial analysis. So, you know, the whole world's ahead of you when you leave here. Uh, and that's just to name a few of the success stories. Um, you're deciding to return to the academy, you've learned one of the most important lessons, as I said before. Uh, and you know, you have to think of this as like riding your first two-wheeler. You'd ride it and you'd fall off, and you'd ride it and you'd fall off, and you'd ride it and you'd fall off. But you get back up again and again and again, and that's what you have to do in life, because sometimes you just hit some, some reverses and you hit some blocks, and you need to redouble your efforts. Uh, if you pursue your hopes, your goals, and dreams, success will come. Have a plan or an idea. Do not be defeated. It may require a different approach to the problem. Uh, it may cause you to look at it from a different angle. If it doesn't work out, you need to persevere. It's that tenacity that is going to allow you to build your true character. Following along those lines of all the advice, that's handed out at all these various graduations this time of the year. There are a couple of things that I would emphasize. Probably the two most important things in life. That's honesty, to be honest, and to be respected. These are two qualities that will serve you well in life. Honesty, not because someone's watching, which of course in this modern life, it seems like everyone always is, but because it's the right thing to do. Honesty is the right thing to do. And in the case of respect, the idea to follow the golden rule, to treat other people the way you want to be treated. Always take the high ground, even when it's a challenge. It is the key to life to respect other people as well as yourself. You must always respect yourself. While well, I'm handing out all this free advice, the primary importance to have true friends as well as family. They will enrich your life. Friends will give you mutual support in a positive way that will encourage you to always do and be your best. Give yourself into a, get yourself into a positive routine, physical activity, study, and yes, play. You are ent entitled to play occasionally. You're entering a big world out there, and it's most important to embrace and practice your social skills. You will spend the rest of your life meeting new people every day. That first impression is very important and lasting. You know, you've heard them say you don't get a second chance at a first impression. So when you meet new people, adults, teachers, bosses, peers, it's critical that you look someone in the eye, you smile, and you give them a good handshake. Be sincere. Leave, it with a, leave people with a positive impression of you. Develop a positive outlook on life and develop a practical plan on how to stick to it. Another thought for me. Put down your iPhone, look people in the face. Every once in a while, read people. Learn to look in people's faces and read them. You'll tell whether they are happy, attentive, sad, angry, engaged, nauseous, or asleep. Learn to read people. It's key. As you navigate through your life, be open to collaboration. Other people and other people's ideas can have something much, can be proved to be something much better than yours. Find a group of people that will challenge and inspire you. Spend time with them. It will change your life. No one is here because they did it on their own. 
We are all here today because someone gave you strength, love, and encouragement, guidance, and support. They held you in their arms or they held you in your hands. Don't ever forget that. Thank you, and at this time, I would like to introduce the uh, superintendent of schools. Oh, uh, I, I am mistaken. Is someone from these um, want to speak? Yes. I'm, okay, here we go. Sorry. Who are? Yes. Okay. Let me introduce okay. you. May I introduce Sandra you? Sandra Gropi. Sandra. This is Sandra Gopi from the uh, Stoughton Public Schools School Committee. Hopefully you can all see me over the podium. Okay, this is great. Um, so good evening, everyone. And first I want to say to the first two, three rows, congratulations from the school committee. We're so proud of you guys um, and excited to be here. Um, this is such a big night for you, and I know your family and friends are all here to support you. So um, absorb it all, take it all in, and, you know, just reach for the stars. After this, you can go so much further. Um, you worked so hard to get here. This is, you know, a lot of sacrifice that was mentioned that you made in your lives. So the only thing, the only word of advice I guess I would give is reach for as far as you can reach and go for it because you can do it. You did it tonight. So congratulations from all of us on the school committee. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Gropey. Well, right now I would like to invite some of our students up here to have a word or two. Let me see, Michael Bingle, Alicia Spence, uh, who else? Oh, uh, Amanda. Uh, oh, Amber is coming up, and who else, who else was coming up? Okay, come on. Come on, you have a word to say. Let's go, let's see what you got to say. You know, it's not my graduation, it's your graduation. This is Kermit. This is Kermit. Oh, I'm sorry, Michael. Sorry. <laughs> um, I, I want to thank Mac, first off. That's my guy. I love him. I want to thank uh, Superintendent uh, Ms. Rizzi. Um, I want to thank my family. I want to thank as many of people I want to thank, in fact. I don't know. Everybody, really. Uh, thank you. That's all I got. Go ahead, Amber. Go ahead. Come on, Amber. Go ahead. I want to thank the superintendent, of course, and everybody on the school committee. Um, I also want to thank my family for coming because without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Um, the family that I nanny for, you guys are literally like a second family to me, and I really appreciate you all being here. Um, and then the Forzogos for coming. You guys have been through my journey like throughout all my years of like education. My attorney, wherever she is. She definitely helped me with like some other struggles. And then Mrs. Theodoro, I don't know where she is in, this, in the crowd, but she was the Director of Education Services for Norwell and has been like supporting me ever since I've been three years old. So that really means a lot. And then, of course, Mr. Mack, without him, <laughs> I wouldn't be here. So I just want to say thank you. So. <laughs> Ms. Alyssa Spence. I had a good four years here. Thank you, Stoughton High. Hi, my name's Devin. I've had a long time throughout schools, and I want to thank everybody for coming out. And I also want to thank everybody for giving me the opportunity, my parents, everybody, teachers, staff, uh, really just want to say I appreciate everything and we all deserve this and earned it. Thank you. Um, I've always thought it, it meant a lot more to have, the, have our students kind of speak to you because they put the time and the effort in. And now I have the distinct pleasure to uh, recognize our superintendent of schools, Ms. Maggie Rizzi, Dr. Maggie Rizzi. Thank you, Mr. McCormack. 
Good evening, everyone. Welcome. This is a festive occasion. Oh, the microphone moves. What have you done today to make you feel proud? Those are the words of a song that I like a lot by a woman named Heather Small. Um, well, you've all done something today and many days leading up to this day that should make you feel proud. You've refused to be defeated. You've refused to give up. You've refused to stop working and to stop trying. You've refused to be deterred from your goal of achieving high school graduation, even though the path was not smooth or maybe not easy or traditional or typical. You have refused to let obstacles stand in your way. You have not allowed circumstances to define your lives. You have chosen to define your lives. Each of you has come here by a different path, but all of you have that in common. So when you come up here to get the diploma, and every day hereafter, no matter where your lives take you after this, remember, you have done plenty to make you feel proud for a long time to come. It's a short speech, because I didn't want to keep you waiting. Let's do it. Okay. Let's do it. All right. So, I will call each of your names in turn. There are some people who are graduating tonight but are not present, but I will call their names anyway to acknowledge that they have uh, graduated from the program. Perfect. Okay. Let's go, guys. Come on. <laughs> Don't keep the doctor waiting. <laughs> Okay, stay in order, because your names are in order. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Here we go. Thais Almeida. Riley Caitlin Belmont. Congratulations. Thank you. Tyrell Henry Berry. Michael Derek Bingle, Jr. Congratulations, don't, don't leave without that. Yeah. Sorry I called you. That's all right, that's okay. It's, it's just as appropriate either way. Brianna Corrine Canto. Amber Nicole Carmark. Congratulations. Thank you. Devin Nolan Collins. Zanilson Pina De Vega. Congratulations. 
I don't believe they're here tonight, but Megan Rose Farrell. And Matthew Thomas Glynn have also graduated. Diane Grace Hardesty. Nadine Jean T. Congratulations. Gina Pavelas Joseph. Jennifer Leanne Kalen. Congratulations. Thank you. Abraham Daniel Cornbloom. Not here tonight, but also graduating, Brendan Joseph Lang. Andrew Robert Lopez. Congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Danny Lusant. Not present this evening, but graduating, Matthew David Maloney. <laughs> Emily Maria Manson. Anthony James McGloin. Congratulations. Flory Moise. Not present this evening, but also graduating. Fox Michael Moore and Eric Michael Narducci. John Flannery Pearson. Francesco Lee C. Pereira. Congratulations. You have a cool name. Thank you. 
Marie Venuth Pierre. Aussie Prevo. Congratulations. Frida Richards. Gwendolyn Jasmine Robinson. John Wilfred Sonord. Alyssa Cameron Spence. Congratulations. And our last graduate not present this evening is Jared Jordan Sprague. Thank you, Dr. Rizzi. Uh, well, this is the one we've all been looking forward to. Uh, you are all graduates of Stoughton Academy. Thank you, congratulations. I would like, every, I'd like to invite everyone to come downstairs to the cafeteria for some, uh, some refreshments afterwards. I also would like to get a picture of everyone in front of the stage, if we could do that. And then the folks can take a picture of everybody if you'd like as well. So can I get all the graduates out here so we can take a picture of you? Congratulations. Family and friends, thank you for coming. School committee, thank you. Dr. Rizzi, Mr. Ford, Julie, Mr. O'Neill, thank you so much.